Today I'm making an awesome chicken and rice dinner. It's another simple one pan meal that tastes great and won't break the bank. It's an easy dish and it doesn't require a lot of ingredients. Here I have five chicken thighs. They have bones, but I removed their skin and trimmed off some of the fat. I preheat my 11 inch deep saute pan on medium heat for one minute and add two tablespoons of avocado oil. I add the chicken thighs and let them brown on that side for five minutes on low medium heat. I had placed the chicken thighs in a glass bowl, coated them with two tablespoons of avocado oil and seasoned them with one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of paprika, three quarters of a teaspoon of ground cumin, and one little pack of Goya Sazon seasoning. I covered the bowl, placed it in the fridge overnight, and removed it from the fridge one hour before cooking the chicken thighs to get the chill out. After browning them for five minutes on one side, I turned them and browned them for five minutes on the other side. Then I turned them again, cover the pan and let them cook for 30 minutes. Since they have bones, I cook them as much as possible on low medium heat. Once I add them to the rice, they're not going to cook very long, so I cook them now. If you use boneless chicken thighs, you may cook them for 20 minutes instead. After 30 minutes, remove them from the pan, place them in a glass bowl, cover it and set it aside. To the pan I add three grated garlic cloves. I like it grated because it just disappears in the rice, but you may chop the garlic if that's how you prefer. At this point you may also add a small yellow onion, finely chopped if you wish. I like to add the seasoning that was left in the bowl that I had the chicken in before. I saute it well on low medium heat, but don't let it burn. I rinse two cups of long grain white rice, let it dry some, and add to the sauteed seasoned garlic. Now I just toast the rice for three minutes, stirring occasionally on medium heat. I add a pack of Sazon seasoning to the rice to not only flavor it more, but also to give it some color, and continue toasting the rice for a couple more minutes. I'm using long grain white rice because it has a neutral flavor and I want to taste the chicken and seasonings, but you may also use jasmine rice. It will add an extra flavor to the dish. After a couple of minutes, add two and a half cups of water or chicken broth and stir it. Taste it and adjust the salt if needed. Add one cup of frozen peas and one large carrot cut into small cubes. This is a versatile dish. You may also add peppers or chopped tomato. I'm just making a simple one today. I turn up the heat to medium high and let this come to a boil. Once it does, I return the chicken thighs to the pan and of course the juice that was left in the bowl. I cover the pan, turn the heat down to low and let it cook for 18 to 20 minutes. Today I made a rice that's a little on the dry side. If you want it saucy, you may add a half a cup more liquid after you toast the rice. This classic comfort food is a must have and made in one pan is even better. You may change the seasoning to your liking. You may add garlic salt instead of salt for a little extra flavor and even add broccoli. I hope you give this recipe a try and thank you for watching.